Six gravel stages and one tarmac special is what the competitors have dealt with today and it's given us some interesting results. As happens in rallying, misfortunes can come quickly. Former Otago Classic winner Jeff Judd has had more than his share of tiny troubles. It's been an enjoyable day and um, you know for the things we've had to um, deal with we we're actually lucky we haven't lost that much time. Well, the alternator must have um, faulted somehow in stage two and three and was overcharging. The battery gave up on the end and burst and let its acid into the car and the fumes and you know, I, was, yeah, I wasn't feeling too comfortable for a while there. John Spencer had multiple mechanical issues knocking him out of contention. And after a great morning, Simon Evans had to deal with a flat tyre. Into right three long, right three long, 300. <gasps> While fellow Australian Keith Callanan was sidelined with a broken gearbox. Those still in the game though are loving the roads and fighting hard. Third placed Derek Ason being one of them. Stage's been going pretty good really. We had a spin on about the stage three. I think at a spectator junction was a bit of tar seal and thought we had it but it just flicked around so I think it caught a few people out. Um, other than that, forestry, we got a bit of a tailing in there. Uh, just quite rutty and had to get through it so we're just trying to make a bit of time back up and um, yes, yeah, so the last couple were uh, awesome. Good, good rides, I really enjoyed them. Ashton Wood is seventh overall and will need a big day on Sunday to push himself further up the standings in his very special escort. Ari Barton and drove it here and uh, won the international rally and wiped nearly every corner known to man off the car. That was his start of his career at the big end or the top end of the international front. The man behind stadium cars, the home of good sports, reckons the Otago rally is also the home of good sports. Tony Gosling himself has had a great day, but he was close to throwing it all away on the final session, the Tarmac Special. It just brings out all the all the fuss guys, like the whole field of cars is just for really good people. Um, everybody looks forward to it, so which adds to the atmosphere because everybody's happy, they've been waiting for it all year, you know. So they're yeah, really happy to be here and really happy that the car's all straight, especially after uh, the close one in that super special there. But the man who has had the best of days is Regan Ross, who now holds a lead of more than 20 seconds over current champion Marco Martin. And he's doing it on a shoestring budget. You know, really, it's such a hard sport, you know, obviously financially, time, time commitment. And uh, it's, it seems to be getting harder in every year for crew and co-drivers and things, so we're lucky to get Lisa on board and uh, we're skeleton crew. I've got my father and, and it's me, so there's no one else, so, uh, you know, I know the car inside out pretty well. I can undo things, I'm not very good at doing them back up again, but um, hey look, no one else is going to do it are they? Yep, way you go, push it! So that's just some of the action from the day of rallying in Otago. Tomorrow, seven more stages that will test the mettle of all the classic drivers.